Bruce Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. I don't know, having it easy sounds a little boring. Perhaps that's why you never take a vacation. <clears throat> uh, uh, Lieutenant Gordon. He said there's nothing to be done about Oswald Cobblepot. All his records are spotless. He needs proof to dig further. Penguin Slippery, all right. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known Children of Arkham activity. No, I... Yes. Yes, I know it takes time, but... ...statement of the century, considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes. Just please let me know when it happens. The Children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, welcome. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back time. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, just get it done. What? No, 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 no press conference. Just tell them to reschedule. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. No rest for the wicked. Ah, uh, hey, Harv. Jesus! Don't sneak up on people like that! I wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Whoa, whoa, what is your problem? You're being a bit erratic. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bruce. I'm just a little shaky. My nerves are totally shot. Uh, did anyone follow you? D no, what? Uh, good, no, that's, that's good. I can never be too careful. My mayoral portrait is scheduled for this morning. <laughs> Guess I don't really feel the part right now. I've been... Looking forward to this my entire career. Thought I'd win in a landslide. would be loved and supported, but this... I don't know, it just all feels different. I feel hated. Like the city's against me. It's like I don't fit. It's like I don't deserve it. After all, is it really a win if it's by default? Well, Gotham's last mayor was hell, so the bar's pretty low. Can't be too hard, right? Yeah, thanks. I guess. God, the mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's gonna take months to get everything back on track. And I can't get the phone to stop ringing. The city's been in an uproar since the- Hold on, Harvey. You're acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Just tell me! Are we being watched? What is going on? 
The technology at Wayne Enterprise is compromised. The children of Arkham are using our tech to listen in on Gotham. Oh, I knew it. They're already keeping tabs on the GCPD, and I'm pretty sure you're on their list, too. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. I've had this feeling for a while, that I'm never alone anymore, that I'm always being watched. The children of Arkham, they, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried at the debate, and they will try again. How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there, the back of my mind. I feel like I am trapped in a nightmare and I can't get out. They don't run this city, Harvey. You do. You have the highest authority in Gotham. You have all the power, not them. I'm not so sure, Bruce. I'm telling you, they've grown too powerful too fast. I don't know if I can do it on my own. You know what I should do? The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You've got to strike fear into their hearts. And maybe break a few bones along the way. But something's holding him back. I mean, just think, imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. He won't have the GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. He'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. I know he's a vigilante, but Batman's always respected a lot. I don't think he'll change his ways anytime soon. Then he's limiting himself. Batman works outside of the law. He's the only one getting anything done in this city. I mean, imagine, just imagine if we had an army of vigilantes just like him. It'll be a new Gotham. A better Gotham. We can use the children of Arkham's methods against them. If they want to play dirty, We'll play dirty. Harvey, look, you've been under a lot of stress, especially with all the trauma recently. Maybe, maybe you should- Don't tell Harvey what to do, Wayne! Don't you dare. Oh, God. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I guess I just lost myself a little bit there. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce, don't tell anyone about this. I was just, you know, thinking out loud, that's all. I didn't mean any of it. It's just the stress of the job kind of gets to me. Look, Harvey, that therapist you told me about, I think you should call her. Maybe she can help you work through whatever this is that you're going through. Just think about it, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. See you around, Bruce. <sighs> An interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Vicky might end up giving Bruce Wayne the runaround. After all, a reporter rarely reveals her source. But an interview with Batman, that might be enough to sway her. After all, it did work with Mayor Hill. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who, who is this? I think you know exactly who this is. Batman. Investigative journalism suits you. <laughs> I, I like to think so. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal.
strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. There are safer options out there. Why here? <laughs> Seemed topical. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. I don't want this conversation recorded. I thought we were here for an interview. Turn it off. Fine. Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. Gotham needs to know how dangerous the children of Arkham really are. You are hiding the truth. Huh. My editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you like. But that's why I'm here. To get the other half I'm missing. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. You're putting the safety of everyone in Gotham at risk. Well, if you really care about the safety of Gotham, why aren't you looking at Bruce Wayne? I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but... With the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone. Except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. Bruce Wayne is innocent. He's not responsible for what his father did. Maybe not, but he still benefits from it. All those people suffered so that he could prosper up in that mansion of his. I don't know if you have some connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people wanna know. That's enough questions. <sighs> Fine. If that's how you feel. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> we are not done. Oh, I think we are. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, don't... Tell anyone I gave this to you. Everything's dark, quiet, it's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham. They may not have gone far. They should be there. No security, no emergency staff. If Vicky's right, it shouldn't be this quiet. Be on your guard. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. 
likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. One of the children of Arkham. Loyalty doesn't get you much with these people, does it? Seems strange. There's something else. This man's veins. They look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only they're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? He was shot dead center. Twice. Executed. It outlived his usefulness, I suppose. They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27-minute train ride from this depot? Looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. Need to know what they're going to do with the drug, exactly how they're planning on releasing it. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Someone's been practicing chemistry. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. <sighs> this wouldn't work. I need to know where their target is. Looks like they ran out of the chemical they were mixing it with. What are they planning to do with this?
A modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. Traces of both chemicals here. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. They're manufacturing the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Good thing you reduced their supply at the construction site. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming. Take cover. If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. We're down to our last few barrels since Batman screwed up the transfer. We'll have to make do, I guess. Okay, you two, get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. Doesn't sound like she's too happy to be here. She might need your help. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobble. Death might be preferable. Now screw this. Train's ready! Fire. 
You're just here to stoke the flames. The people of Gotham are stronger than you think. They won't let this city fall into chaos. You'd be surprised. Fear can be incredibly persuasive. Go on. Show me how you'll save your precious city. Just like the other... Don't pass out on me. Come on, bats. Stay here, okay? Just don't move. Thank you, Selena. Don't thank me yet. <sighs> Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh, huh. What? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. They would have killed you. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Suddenly so agreeable. I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. Not that I owe you anything. After the debate, I'd say we're even. Selena. It's fine. You can have the couch until morning. Then I'm done owing you favors. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader? I had a plan. 
Really didn't need you swooping in and messing it up. Good. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. Whatever. No such thing as a fresh start, anyway. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. Yeah, well, you've got most of Gotham behind you on that. Well, not most. Maybe half. Just trying to be optimistic. Cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something just beneath the surface. You either admit it to yourself or you learn it the hard way. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world and won't let anyone else see. Yeah, well, the difference is my secret doesn't hurt anybody. And then you're better than most. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. Proving I can. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but I've taken plenty from good people, too. For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town? The high is nice, but it wears off. Then you look around and see... nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. But it never amounts to anything, really. Hmm. Selena, stop. What's wrong? I thought... Never mind. Harvey's my friend. I... I can't do this to him. There's nothing going on with me and Harvey. Maybe not for you. Let me go get you a blanket. She's not hissing at you anymore. Hooray for small miracles. Another drink? No, I'm fine. Thanks. Never run into anyone else who did this, you know? You can't be Batman all the time. So what's a night off look like? What do you do when you take off the mask? You kidding? I love being Batman. I feel more at home in the suit than I do as Bruce Wayne. 
You ever feel that way? I guess I just never saw them as different to begin with. Me and Catwoman. It's the same thing. I guess this is good night then. Good night, Selena. <laughs>